Picture this, you are trying to make a tag minigame. Now you guys are familiar with tag. You have a tagger, the player who runs around and tags other players, and just, you know, your regular players. So ideally, you would like to keep track of your tagger for a multitude of reasons. Maybe you want to give them a power up. Maybe you want to eliminate them if the timer runs out, whatever your reason may be. So normally in verse, we can create variables, which are things that can change over time. So we could maybe create a variable called tagger and the type is going to be a player. And if you try to initialize this to a player, you are going to see we get an error here and the reason is because a player is just something that is provided to you by verse it's not something you can create so how can we keep reference of a tagger we can do this using optionals optionals are just things that can either hold false which means nothing or they can hold another type in this case we want to hold a player type now the way optionals can help us here is at the beginning of the game we can set a tagger to hold nothing we can create a variable that holds no tag no player at the beginning then we can set that tagger optional variable to the player that we have assigned as the tagger so here's how we can make optional in a verse i'm gonna create a new variable and the convention for optionals i've seen is to prefix it with maybe and then call it whatever in this case tagger okay and it's going to be of type player bear with me here for a second and remember how we said optionals can hold nothing aka false well in this case we're going to initialize this to false now we can see here we have an error that's because we are initializing a player type to a false these two are not compatible so to fix this we first prefix our type with a question mark this now creates an optional player type and we can now assign false here so let's see how we can set a tagger to this maybe tagger variable okay so in our tag minigame i have this function that well here it just gets the first player in your game and we're just going to set the first player to be the tagger yes unlucky for the first player who joins i know but whatever so normally we can just do set for a variable and maybe tagger equals player one but no we get an error here this is because it says here this expects a value of type question mark player but is not compatible with just a regular player type remember this is an optional this is a player you can think of optionals as sort of a treasure chest they can hold nothing or they can hold a player but at the end of the day it's still a treasure chest and you cannot assign a player to a treasure chest those two things are not the same thing so how can we assign this player to the optional well to do that we just enclose this with the option keyword and then open and close curly braces so continuing on with the treasure chest analogy this would sort of be like creating a new treasure chest and then putting our player one inside of that treasure chest now these two are now treasure chest so we can safely assign this option to our maybe tagger which is an optional and if you wanted to set this to hold nothing, we can, well, just do again, just set this to false. Okay, we have now gotten our tagger. The game can now commence. We can now keep track of our tagger. So let's do some magic with our tagger. Firstly, I have this function that takes in a player type, and I just call it tagger. And it just, uh, I guess, grants a speed power up to the tagger. So after we assign the tagger, let's say, for example, in your game, you, you want to do, let's say, sleep. 30 seconds later, we want to grant tagger power up, okay? Now, this function takes in a player type. You attempt to pass in our maybe tagger, but we get an error. And if we're continuing again with the treasure chest analogy, think, why would we get an error if we're passing a tagger? Well, this is because we are passing, again, we're passing a treasure chest, not an actual player. So first, we need to unpack that treasure chest, see if it contains anything. If it does, then we can use the stuff inside. In this case, the player. Optionals, remember, they can hold false or something. So how do we check in programming or in verse? How do we check if something is false? Well, we use an if statement. So we can do here if tagger colon equals and we are going to do maybe tagger because remember, we need to first unpack the chest and then extract the contents inside. 
I can see here we get an error because this is assigning an optional to another optional. Again, a treasure chest to another treasure chest. So to unpack that, there are maybe tiger variable. We pass in a question mark. That's going to unpack the contents. And whatever those contents are, it's going to assign that tiger. If it is false, then this entire if statement is going to be false and nothing is going to execute. We are not going to grant a tiger power up because no tiger exists. But if it does, if there is a tiger inside of this optional, then we can just pass in the tiger. Simple, because this is now the content inside. And remember, the content inside our original optional was a player. Now let's say another example, you want a magic number. So let's create a var maybe magic number. And you know how to create optionals. We first prefix it with a question mark. And then we include the type, in this case, an integer. If you want to initialize this at the beginning to something, we can do this with just the option keyword again. So just type option. And let's say our magic number at the beginning is going to be nine. So here we're setting an optional. This implies that at a certain point in time, there is going to be no magic number. And then in our on begin, let's say, for example, we can do if magic number colon equals, remember, we have to query the magic number first. So we'll do maybe, maybe magic number and then a question mark. And if there is a magic number in this point in time, then we can do print doing stuff like spawning rain or whatever. So they can also be useful as a sort of control or as an extra step if you want to execute stuff. So if there is an, a magic number currently, if this is not false, then we can do stuff inside. And that's basically all there is to it, to optionals. So I hope this was helpful and yeah.